Well, there may be an extra set of eyes outside of U.S. polling places on Election Day, and it could well belong to the United Nations. A number of left-leaning civil rights groups have called in the U.N. to keep an eye out for what some Democrats say are efforts to suppress minority votes. The NAACP, the ACLU, and other groups writing a joint letter that reads in part, quote, Sadly, efforts to thwart voters from exercising their right to vote have swept across this country. These efforts are part of a coordinated political effort to disenfranchise millions of Americans. Accordingly, we urge your group to deploy its limited election monitors in those states where restrictions on voting have been most extensive. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida, Texas, and Wisconsin. Catherine Engelbrecht is the founder of True the Vote. Her organization has been working to end voter fraud. Catherine, welcome to the program. So they say we, we need these UN observers in order to protect, in particular, minority uh, voters in this country. Your reaction? Well, I, I think it's just, it's, it's really um, breathtaking in the hypocrisy that we're seeing. They have, they have gone to an international body to try and prevent uh, or discourage American citizens from participating in, in a completely legitimate manner. And they've reached out to countries uh, that have photo voter identification in, in every single one. But yet, uh, here in the States, that's not something that they want to see happen. It's, what, it's what outrageous. Is the, what, what is the minority voter suppression in particular that they think is going to happen that, that we need the UN to monitor? Uh, you know, one can only uh, project that maybe it's just the, the presence of having poll watchers inside of the polls. Um, and certainly they are, uh, you know, constantly going on about photo voter identification laws. And, and again, they've reached out to um, international courts, international bodies to, to referee American elections. I think that uh, it should be very troubling to anyone who um, believes that America should be able to run their own elections. UN has no, uh, no, no ability to get involved in American elections in any way. So. Well, now we're going to we're going to have UN observers come in from countries like we're told uh, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan, and there so they're going to show up at the polls in Texas and they are going to try to tell the Texas voters that that uh, they have to do it the way it's done according to some official from the Ukraine. That's that's what it seems. I mean, the whole thing is so surreal, isn't it? The thought that the United Nations is going to be in American elections on November the 6th. Uh, our hope with True the Vote is that this is a rallying cry for all Americans to recognize that it is time to get involved in our electoral process. Um, the United Nations, well-intentioned as they may be, does not have jurisdiction on American elections, and we need to make sure that Polling places are full of American volunteers who are looking out for the best interests of America. Do they know the good people of Texas? Because in my, I mean, I'm just thinking that, the, you know, if the guy from Ukraine tries to stop the guys in Houston from casting their ballot in the way they want or, or tries to interfere with the polling station workers in Texas trying to tell them that they're discriminating because they're enforcing photo ID laws, it's not going to go well, Catherine. You know, it's, it's, um, the fact is, we have a strong process. We should have well-trained observers inside of the polls. That's part of the process. But those observers should be Americans. And the thought that the NAACP and the ACLU feels the need to go to Kazakhstan, uh, yeah, I just beg to differ. Now, they say, uh, this group, that they've been invited by several states to monitor elections in the past. It's not the ones you mentioned, it's like, uh, that we just mentioned. It's like New Mexico and some other states. Right. But they say, look, we've had an invitation from them in the past, and uh, we're going to take them up on them, this invitation in the future. Are they, are they allowed to go into any state that hasn't specifically paved the wave for them to do that? Well, certain states do allow for the United Nations monitors to go in. In fact, this, the body that um, the NAACP has approached, the OSCE, is something that the United States is a part of and has been a part of for the last 10 years. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's think of it as sort of a foreign exchange student program where you go in and you watch, you watch one another's elections to learn. That is wholly different from the way that the, this is being spun. It's being uh, presented as, um, as international observers coming to stop 
to, to monitor and police inside of American elections. That is where it I says, think the yeah, line has to be drawn. They're supposed to monitor an array of activities, including potential disputes at polling places. So, I mean, again, I go back to like this image in, in, in Texas or in Ohio right. where, where somebody's trying to vote, but they don't have the necessary photo ID, and then they're offered the opportunity to cast a provisional ballot, and then bam, the guy from Kazakhstan <laughs> steps in to say, that's not good enough. <laughs> right. The provisional ballot right. is objectionable. This is, this is disenfranchisement. I mean, really, when you think about it, how is this going to work? Uh, you, you know, you, you got me. I, I mean, I think more than anything, this is a political stunt that is designed to um, make further suggestion that what we're seeing in this country is uh, a, a question of, of oppressing the minority vote, and nothing could be further from the truth. Our process is a sound one, but Americans need to recognize that we must get involved because if there are, as we say in Texas, yeah. if there's just crickets and tumbleweeds inside of the polls, you know, there's, I guess, plenty of room for the blue helmets. Well, there's going to be a lot of observers there from America already. <laughs> and a lot of these left-leaning groups already have folks who are going to be watching the polls. So query the need for this. Uh, and it's just interesting because the invitation came from groups like the NAACP and the ACLU. But one wonders whether it needs to be more official than that in order to make it happen. But it sounds like it's going to. Any anyway, event, uh, thanks for drawing our attention to it. Catherine, all the best to you. Thanks so much.